miss, do you miss anything about Pakistan, about where you grew up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I miss a lot of things. I have to say that. Yeah. We're not the most laid back people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, some, I'll tell you this, this, this is, this happened to me. This is one of the worst days of my life. And this happened in Pakistan. This is when I was about 11 or so. Uh -huh. And you have, I'll t you have to know two things before I tell you. One, um, I didn't, I didn't start wearing underwear <laughs> until I was too old. Like, okay, this is the story <laughs> of, I didn't know there was an age limit yeah. on underwear wearing. I feel like 11's too old to not be wearing underwear. Oh, right? so you, oh. what I'm saying, yes, you, st you didn't start wearing underwear until later on. Until and this, this is the story of why I started wearing underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Gather around, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Let's get the campfire going. I'm a little. A big prop book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Okay. This story takes place during what I call the summer of masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not related, they're not connected in the way you think. Okay. This is the summer where I discovered masturbation. Yeah. And I was really just pouring a lot of my time into that. Yeah. <laughs> That was sort of like my project. I'm yeah. same way. Right off the bat, I was a fan. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, totally. It's like when I first saw basketball, I was like, oh, I'm going to like this forever. Yeah. That's how I was with masturbation. Right. <laughs> and what happened was I had a cousin my age. He came over to my house, and he pulled me aside, and he was like, hey, I heard. I heard that if you hold your penis and you go up and down, something happens. Right. And I was like, that sounds right. <laughs> That feels right. I was like, you go in the bathroom and you try it and you, then you report back. <laughs> He's in there for three minutes. He comes out and his face is red, which is very hard for my people to get a yeah, red face. Yeah, yeah. His face is red. I asked him how it was and his lips moved, but no sound came out. <laughs> and then I swear, he picked up a BB gun and shot a crow. <laughs> and I was his like- His face was red. <laughs> He didn't speak, he picked up a BB gun and, and shot a crow. shot a crow. And I was like, I'm doing this right now. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight we become men, you know? So I go in, I get started, and I haven't, you know, it takes me 30 seconds. Like my body's been waiting like, this is what we wanted for so long. Right. At the point of impact, I, I black out. <laughs> you black out? I black out. You black out. I black out and I wake up and I'm laying on the floor of my bathroom. Yeah. And I remember saying out loud to myself, oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> and it really was. I yeah. was really like going at it a lot, you know? So I was like scheduling things around it. <laughs> wait, did, wait, did you faint every time? No, just the first time. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. I didn't yeah. faint every time. Okay, right. right. There's that'd more be a details robot. that I don't want to get into. Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go down any untoward road. Right. <laughs> That's a web extra. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I'm doing this a lot. I'm getting embarrassed. Um, I'm doing this a lot, and uh, so this we have a theme park in uh, Karachi called Funland. That's sure. the name of it. It's called Funland, which sounds like a real first draft name. Funland. <laughs> we'll get to the real, we'll come up with something better, but Funland yeah. for now. It's right around the corner from work building and food room. <laughs> <laughs> so my cousins are gonna come over and we're all gonna go to Funland now. Uh, I, 10 minutes, I only have 10 minutes, and this would've been the third one of the day, but I'm like, I could do it. So 10 minutes, third one of the day, so I go in, and based on how much time I had and how many times I'd done it, I'd, I'd think of different situations. So this is, you know, I have to go for nuclear option, which is possessed Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters. <laughs> That's the hottest thing I can think of. Yeah. The possessed Sigourney Weaver, not, yes, I remember when she's, Well, because yeah. it's like a threesome with just one other person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, the gatekeeper's in there, too. Okay, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, imagine that little kid telling you this story. So um, my, uh, I get started and I've mistimed, mistimed it. My cousins show up, my mom's yelling at me, we gotta go, we gotta go. Very stressful, I get it done, I get the job done. I, I pull up my pants. If you remember, this, I didn't wear underwear. 
Ah. I zip through my penis. I zip through my penis. I didn't. You didn't chop it off. No. That would have been the first thing I would have mentioned. I would. I would have been like, this is the right. story of how I lost right. my dick. You're right. Right. That would have been. Right. Different title. Yeah. It would have been a different title. Yeah. There you're also, right. In the intro, we would have said "Star of Silicon Valley," "Dickless yeah. Male Man." <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Half dick. Half dick. Half right, dick. Right. Yeah. I'd be like, I introduce everyone. Like, hey, two things about me. I'm from Pakistan, and I have half a dick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I know you have questions. Yeah. Life in Pakistan wasn't easy. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying you I took off a chunk off the side. Uh, you uh, took a piece off the side. Okay. Took a piece off the side, just the littlest piece, but it felt giant, and it wasn't even stuck in there. I was like, "Ta, it's done. Party's over." And it's bleeding, and it's bleeding a lot. And I'm a kid. I don't want it to get infected, so I get my dad's aftershave. Oh my god! <laughs> and I oh poured the god. whole bottle down there. And it felt like if fire had teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the kind of pain where you're flashing like football highlights and pictures of all your dead relatives <laughs> and the orcs marching out of Mordor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which those movies hadn't even come out. Right. It right. hurt so much I had a prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> And the next day, I went and I bought underwear. The postscript to that story is, things are great down there now. Things yeah. are great. Okay. Things All are right. great. You got everything. All right, I buy it. Everything's great down there. Everything's great down there. <laughs> right? You're all fine, yeah. But there is a scar that needs to be addressed. It needs to, and so now I'm married, so it's fine. But for years, when I'd gotten, charmed someone to the point where they might see it, I kind of had to prep them. I had to be like, hey, when you get down there, there's gonna be something weird. It's not that weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. In Pakistan, we had a theme park called Funland. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice story to tell.